take the perspective from Honduras, Maria. Um, so at the national level, how does this increasing transparency that we all seem to want, well, some leaders don't want it, but most of the people, certainly in this room, I think, want increased transparency. How does it help you as a government to do your work better, to reach out <coughs> and to support the people who need it in your country? When you have the information, when you have, uh, we have worked, uh, I want to talk about uh, a little bit of history with the yeah. IATI. It started in 2012. Um, with the, the IATI standards, we decided to do our own platform. And, uh, but we had a challenge because everything was working in the planning ministry, and then it came to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs four years ago. So that was a, a big challenge. Uh, but uh, we decided to raise some uh, money from country donors that believed in the transparency that we were looking for. And uh, we really have gotten to have ownership on our platform. And this, this is very useful not only for transparency, but also for mutual accountability. Because sometimes we think uh, the recipients have to be accountable, but also the donors have to be accountable in a way. It's, it's, so this brings us in a continuous dialogue with our uh, cooperation uh, and, and all the actors in the cooperation in community in Honduras. So it's very well, that, I mean, we're kind of moving now to uh, partnerships and networks and want to look at, um, look at this through the prism or through the eyes of, of Honduras. So I'm just wondering what the benefits of the national platform are now. And, and just tell us in a bit more detail why IATI's standard was used. Because you could have gone elsewhere for the basis <laughs> of your platform. Yes, uh, we thought that standards were very, um, uh, I mean, they, they, we could cope with them very easily. It was a global uh, initiative, and uh, in a way it helped us to also uh, compare the information we have with the information that he, he has. So we, we, we decided to, to follow up on that. And um, in also uh, alignment is very important uh, for us. In, in, in a way, to harmonize and align what we need, what our development goals are, uh, with the help we were receiving. So when you look at the platform, I don't know when you, look, you last looked at the platform, uh, what do you look for? And do you sometimes see things that make you go, oh my word, is that how much is coming into my country and I didn't know? Or are these some of the people who are claiming to be um, investing and pouring aid into my country? And uh, I, I wasn't aware of this. I need to know about this. Is that what happens sometimes? Yeah, in a way, yes. It, it has a geographical reference, so it helps you to see where it's all the cooperation concentrated. And maybe you, you, you can decide there, well, I mean, it's too much in the south or in the dry areas. We need some help in the other areas. So it's, it's very useful uh, in that way. And also the sectors. You look at the information uh, through sector news, and, and you can pro. My, our priorities are health, education, or infrastructure, so we say, okay, let's look how, it, how this is going, and if it's not on that priority, we talk to the donors so we can move it up. And, and explain how 